So starting off with the second chapter of organic chemistry, which is alkanes. Alkanes we know are also known as saturated hydrocarbons and how are they different from alkenes? Alkenes have a double bond, alkanes have a single bond. They are saturated, alkenes are unsaturated and all carbon-carbon bonds are all of them are single bonds. All of them have a sigma bond, not a pi bond. All of them have sigma bonds. Carbon, carbon, single bonds are similar. So starting off with the first topic of alkanes, fractional distillation of crude oil. This is something that we did in at Excel IGCSE as well. Now, crude oil is currently the world's main source of organic chemicals. As a mixture, it isn't very a useful substance, but the different hydrocarbons that make up the mixture called fractions are useful. And with each fraction having different applications, it is a mixture of mostly alkanes, which are unbranched and also branched chains. The mixture is separated into fractions based on their boiling points of different fractions, the naphtha, kerosene, petroleum gas, tha, then we had bitumen, petroleum gas, tea, and different fractions of those crude oil or fractional distillation. I told you a lot of separating techniques have we been studying. Filtration, distillation, crystallization, fractional distillation. And all of them are on the basis of something, for example, chromatography used to be separating according to the solubilities. Here, Alkipas, the distillation atiti separates according to boiling points. Fraction distillation be immiscible liquids go according to boiling points separate. Karta. Same as the case, crude oil is separated into different fractions according to their boiling points. Now, each fraction consists of a group of hydrocarbons of similar lengths. Hydrocarbons of similar tail lengths have similar boiling points and the fractions are separated from each other in a process called fractional distillation. The size and length of each hydrocarbon molecule determines in which fraction it will be separated into. The size of each molecule is directly related to how many carbon and hydrogen atoms the molecule contains. And most fractions contain many alkanes, which are compounds of carbon and hydrogen. Alkanes are hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon means we only have hydrogen and carbon. And most of the fraction of that crude oil is only single bond between them. So, for example, this is a fractionating column. We have also done this in uh, ITCS. This is a fractionating column. Where fractional distillation crude oil takes place. Here is where we insert the, insert the uh, input of heated crude oil. Temperature down. That was upper temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius. So it is a lower temperature on the top and a higher temperature at the bottom. So a boiling point is so they get separate. When the water starts to boil, subsequent was separate for the fuel oil, which has a higher boiling point. Subsequent was sorry, separate for the petroleum gas, which has a very low boiling point. So Jesse he temperature reaches let's say 40 or 50, petroleum gas. Separates. Uske baad, when more temperatures increase, fuel for gas, gasoline is separated. Then further temperatures increase, kerosene is separated. Then comes diesel, and finally we have the fuel oil. And pe jo baja kuch jata, that substance is known as bitumen. And you should also know the uses of each. Gasoline is used as fuel for cars, kerosene as aircraft fuel, diesel as fuel for car, lorries, and buses. Fuel oil, fuel for ships and power station, and vitamin is used for making roads and roofs. Now, fractional distillation is carried out in a fractionating column, which is very hot at the bottom and cool at the top. Crude oil enters the fractionating column and is heated, so vapors rise. And vapors of hydrocarbons with very high boiling point will immediately condense into liquid at the higher temperatures lower down and are tapped off at the bottom of the column. Vapors of these hydrocarbons with low boiling point will rise up and the column and condense at the top to be tapped off. So just as our boiling point increase, carrying it as your temperature increase, hoga, the different columns would be separated in fractions. Now, the different fractions condense at different heights according to their boiling points and are tapped off as liquids. The fractions containing smaller hydrocarbons are collected at the top of the fractionating column as gases. The fractions containing bigger hydrocarbons are collected at the lower sections of the fractionating column. So just smaller hydrocarbons, they have a relatively lower boiling point. Why? 
and the bigger hydrocarbons have a relatively higher boiling point. Why is that? Because of the number of carbons. Pella reason can number of carbon atoms. Second reason is the number of bonds. So as you go down the homologous series or as the number of, yeah, as the size of hydrocarbon increases, number of carbon also increases, number of carbon-carbon bonds also increases. Hence, more energy and more temperature is needed to break those molecules and break those hydrocarbons down. Hence, just smaller hydrocarbons are there. They are collected gases. Just bigger hydrocarbons are they are collected as which liquids be hosed take with solid but dono mein, dono ke boiling points and physical properties are different and boiling points falls under the physical properties now the crude oil contains small amounts of other compounds as well for example sulfur when burned sulfur dioxide can be produced and this is also one of the causes of acid then the so2 ya s jo hai sulfur is basically another compound of crude oil ye pehle nahi padha, but it is the one of the other compounds other raw compounds uh, just substitutes and you know, they are also formed as side product. Aap isko ek side product bhi sakte. And when S is burned, when sulfur is burned, kya bana dega? Hum isko combust karenge to SO2 gas can be formed, which is a very harmful and a pollutant gas. So ye has a side product hota hai, which is formed. And when this sulfur is burned with oxygen, in excess of oxygen, it can produce sulfur dioxide, which is the main cause of acid rain as well. A main cause of acid rain. So this was all for fractionating column of and fraction distillation of crude oil.